Yo team, it's Thursday, okay? What we have, I'm gonna roll through the, the, the non-equipment workout first, then I'll get into the limited equipment. So, non-equipment, 24 minute emo. Minute one, you have 50 seconds worth of an arm wrap, okay? Off, you're gonna roll through as many rounds as you can. Off, six step ups on a box or a chair, and four burpees, okay? So you're gonna perform your six step ups, your four burpees, straight back into your step ups, into your burpees for the full 50 seconds. Then we have that built in 10 seconds rest, okay? Minute two, we have 50 seconds again. As many rounds as we can of a burpee tuck jump and two step back lunges. So we're gonna hit the floor, get back to the feet, jump, drive the knees into the chest, step back, stand tall, step back, stand tall, back into that burpee in the tuck, step back, step back. We've got 50 seconds of that combo, as many rounds as we possibly can. Minute three, we have 45 seconds of work this time. And we're going to go for max strict handstand push-ups. Strict reps, no kipping, okay? Strict handstand push-ups. If we have them at the wall, I would only allow one ab mat, one cushion as your scale, okay? If you're having to build the great leaning tower of pillows, it's pointless, okay? I need you to be able to work through at least 90% of the range of motion and then pressing back tall again. If you're only bending your elbow an inch or two and then pressing back up again, you're never gonna build that, um, that strength with the full range of motion to be able to perform the, the prescribed range of motion, okay? I know it's hard to hear, but take a step back, work on the basics and the progressions, and then when you come to actually getting the full rep, you'll be able to do more than just that single rep that everyone's after, okay? So if we don't have them on the wall, we're gonna go pipes off of the box, off of the couch, now what I'm looking for is either from the knees, I'm tucking my chest in as much as I can, and then I'm moving forward, touch, press back through again. If I'm up on the tiptoes, get my hips as high as I can, I'm pressing through the floor, arching my back because I'm squeezing my core so much, moving forward, touch, press back through again. Now, when I say stay in that turtle position here, You'll know that if you've been joining the gymnastics class on the Thursday night or watching that class back on the recorded video. If you haven't got into that class, get in it. You'll learn all these things, right? And if you don't have it off the box, we're gonna go pipe the push-up. So, we're getting ourselves into this position here. Squeezing those abs, pressing to the floor, hold forward, touch, press away, okay? Building on that strength and in the full range of motion before we start thinking about adding pillows and ab mats to lessen that range of motion, okay? So that's minute one, we have 50 seconds, step ups and burpees. Minute two, 50 seconds, burpee, tuck, jump, step back, lunge. Minute three, as many handstand push-ups as humanly possible. Now, if we have the limited equipment, it's the same format, but this time, it's minute one, it's 50 seconds of a dumbbell snatch. Both heads of the floor start on the floor, finish with the arm extended up overhead. We have six of those and four burpees. Minute two, we have one single arm devil's press and two overhead lunges. Okay, so an arm wrap off, devil's press, chest to the floor, dumbbell up overhead, keep it there for one lunge, and then two lunge. Back down, swap the hands, chest on the floor, and repeat 50 seconds of that combo, and then you have your 45 seconds of your max strict handstand push-ups, or the scaling options that we talked about, okay? So make sure you're working hard, guys. Push the pace in the 50 seconds. Quick breather, and then we go again. And then we're gonna test that high skill gymnastics movement or the strength progressions towards it while we're under fatigue. Have fun, guys. Get after it. Let's go.